Anyone? My free time I played COD Movo, okay. <laughs> In my free time I want to sleep. In my free time I glass paint. Oh, you do glass painting? Okay. Yo tampoco sé que lo te refieres, pero no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Así que I think it's good. A ver, vamos a revisar. In my free time, I learned to tattoo. Okay. In my free time, I play Apex. Sí, creo que se dice glass painting, eh, Sandra. Okay, so we have different uh, in free time. In my free time, I play video games. Okay, a lot of a lot of you play video games. Some of you play movies, other paints, other do tattoos. So that's good. All of you have different things uh, to do, and that's good. Um, and lastly, which area of nursing would you like to specialize in? Quizás no todos tengan una respuesta para esta, but maybe some of you already know. Anyone who has an idea what area of nursing they want to specialize in? Like to specialize in physiatric area, if it is possible. Okay, very good. Thank you, Denise. Okay, so we have one person who would like to specialize in physiatric area. Who else? Anyone else has um, maybe an idea? I'd like to do emergency or paramedic area, pediatric area. Okay, very good, Carla. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, most of you, pro I mean, a lot of you probably have to go to the hospital to know. But you're still in like second year? Ustedes están en segundo año, no? La mayoría? Tercero? Tercero, okay. But you still have time. You still have time to figure it out. Todavía tienen tiempo para averiguarlo. If you don't know. But here we have here we have two people who know already. And that's good. Okay. So if there's no one else, nadie más. To continue. Uh, with the activities. No? Okay. Let's continue. Okay, so now I need you to <clears throat> to open the book El English for Nursing el que les mostré al principio. Um, I need you to open the book and we're going to do, we're going to go here. We're going to do this part right here. So I'm going to give you a minute so you can open your books. And we're going to listen to an audio. We're going to listen to an audio. And you first, you're going to answer this question right here. And then we're going to listen again and you're going to have to answer the questions down here. Vamos a escuchar el audio una vez y van a responder esta pregunta y después lo vamos a escuchar una segunda vez para completar estas oraciones que están acá abajo. Ok. So. Do, do you guys have it open? ¿Lo tienen abierto? El libro. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So we're going to listen once and we're going to answer this question right here first. So let's begin with that. Um, okay, Cecilia is del celular. Okay. Um, well, what you can do is just listen then. A Cecilia solamente escucha si está del celular. No importa que no tenga las preguntas ahí abiertas. Ok. No, no compartí con audio, así que no van a poder escuchar. Um, ahora sí. Ok, so we're going to listen and we're going to answer that one question that's alone. English for nursing. Course book. Can you hear it? Lo pueden escuchar. Sí, sí, ok. Ok, let's continue. Level 2, by Ros Wright and Maria Spader Simmons. Published by Pearson Longman. Unit 1, Patient Admissions. Recording 2. I work as an agency nurse and I specialise in renal care. This month I am working in a transplant unit in Auckland, New Zealand, where I am responsible for paediatric patients. I'm looking after a little girl at the moment who is waiting for a kidney transplant. I spend a lot of time with her, talking to her and explaining her condition. I carry out her tests and administer her medication every day. But we also play games. This week I'm teaching her to play dominoes. What do I like about my job? Well, I don't like dealing with the paperwork and there is a lot of it. Dealing with children can sometimes be very stressful, but it can also be very rewarding too. I want to stay in renal care, and I hope to qualify as an advanced practice nurse. In my free time, I go climbing, so you can usually find me in the mountains. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So how was it? Did you guys get the answer for the first question? Okay, you're saying B. <clears throat> B, are you sure? <laughs> okay, so I have some Bs, I have some A's, and some and one C. Okay, we're gonna listen. Vamos a escucharlo solamente esa parte, and you you guys are gonna tell me. And Maria Spader Simmons. Published by Pearson Longman. Unit 1. Patient Admissions. Recording 2. I work as an agency nurse and I specialize in renal care. This month. Okay, he just said it. Ahí justo lo dijo. Okay, A. A, okay, yes, very good. It is A. It is a, he, uh, what area of nursing does he specialize in? Is A, in renal care. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Okay, so now, now um, we're going to go to activity five. La actividad cinco, la que está bajito de la, de la imagen y eso. It says, listen again and copy and complete the sentences about Carlos. So what you have to do, you have to listen. And here we have the beginning of the sentences. And you have to uh, complete the sentences by listening to what Carlos says. Tenemos el principio de la oración y ustedes tienen que completarlo con lo que dice Carlos. And then we're going to check all together. Okay? Any questions? No questions? So um, the first one is really easy because we just heard it. La primera es fácil, recién la escuchamos. So he specializes in 
What does he specialize in? Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, now, so now we're going to listen to the audio and you have to complete the other uh, seven sentences. And if you need to listen it one more time after, after this one, we can do that too. Uh, let's begin. English for Nursing, course book, level two, by Ros Wright and Maria Spader Simmons. Published by Pearson Longman. Unit one, patient admissions. Recording two. I work as an agency nurse and I specialize in renal care. This month I'm working in a transplant unit in Auckland, New Zealand, where I'm responsible for paediatric patients. I'm looking after a little girl at the moment who is waiting for a kidney transplant. I spend a lot of time with her, talking to her and explaining her condition. I carry out her tests and administer her medication every day, but we also play games. This week I'm teaching her to play dominoes. What do I like about my job? Well, I don't like dealing with the paperwork, and there is a lot of it. It's ten hours. Dealing with children can sometimes be very stressful, but it can also be very rewarding too. I want to stay in renal care, and I hope to qualify as an advanced practice nurse. In my free time, I go climbing, so you can usually find me in the mountains. Okay, were you able to complete the sentences, or do you need to listen it? Do you need to listen to the audio one more time? De nuevo. Okay, quiere hacerle falta una. Habla muy rápido. Okay, yeah, maybe it's a little too fast. Uh, but if you need to listen one more time, uh, we can do that. I don't know if this has uh, subtitles. Uh, no. Uh, what about the rest? Los demás. Was it too fast? Were you able to finish? Do you need to listen to it one more time? You guys have to tell me. De nuevo, okay. Otra vez, okay. Okay, we're going to listen to uh, one more time. Okay, he, here it goes. English for Nursing, course book, level two, by Ros Wright and Maria Spader Simmons. Published by Pearson Longman. Unit one, patient admissions. Recording two. I work as an agency nurse and I specialize in renal care. This month I'm working in a transplant unit in Auckland, New Zealand, where I'm responsible for paediatric patients. I'm looking after a little girl at the moment who is waiting for a kidney transplant. I spend a lot of time with her, talking to her and explaining her condition. I carry out her tests and administer her medication every day. But we also play games. This week I'm teaching her to play dominoes. What do I like about my job? Well, I don't like dealing with the paperwork, and there is a lot of it. Dealing with children can sometimes be very stressful, but it can also be very rewarding too. I want to stay in renal care, and I hope to qualify as an advanced practice nurse. In my free time, I go climbing, so you can usually find me in the mountains. Okay, were you able to get it now? Were you able to complete it, guys? Lo completaron? Or do you have most of them? O tienen la mayoría? Okay, the majority. What about the rest? 
Okay, que ya está todo ready. Very good. What about the rest of the class? Were you able to get the answers? Most of them or all of them? Carla says that uh, she's missing some. How many? Carla, how many are you missing? Okay, Vanya says that she's missing two. <laughs> um, uh, viendo, a ver, déjame ver la hora. No, no, we can. No creo que podamos hacer un, We can do it one more time. Because we have to do other things. So we're going to begin checking. And probably if you don't have one, your one of your classmates is going to have it. So then you can uh, write the answer. So uh, we're going to begin. So the first one, we said this one. He specializes in. We said that he specializes in renal care. Very good. At this moment, he's working in, where is he working? In, oops, in a transplant unit. Unit without an E. Unidad es sin la E. Unite, si es con E, unite, que es unir. Uh, okay, very good. He's looking after. He's looking after pediatrics patients. Very good. Every day he Administer, administrar la vimos. We saw administrar, administer. En, en esa lista de verbos que le di, that I gave you, when we saw the simple present, that's where uh, administer is. Administer medication. Is that it? Is that everything he does? Or explain condition también? Is it also part of what he does every day? So explain condition goes here. Anything else that he does every day? He plays with the uh, with the little girl, right? Uh, he plays with the patient. Okay. And what about this week? This week he is. Okay, this week he is teaching to play domino. To play. Dominos. Is that it? Is that everything he's doing? Or is he doing something else this week? Eso todo? Paperwork? Okay, no, not yet. Todavía no estamos en el paperwork. I think now is the paperwork part. Uh, in his job, he likes, he doesn't like. What does he like? Okay, yes, he doesn't. He doesn't like uh, to do paperwork. Very good. And what does he like? He likes to work at 10. As, likes to assist. 
he likes to assist. We're going to put assist. He likes to assist. Anything else? Algo más? Nothing else? Okay. And in the future, he hopes to Okay, in the future he he hopes to stay in Reno care and be qualified. Okay, qualified. Very good. And lastly, what does he do in his free time? Okay, yes, he likes, oop. Okay, very good guys, uh, very good. Was it hard to listen to the audio and answer the questions? Was the audio too fast? Okay, Sandra says yes. Okay. Carla says yes. What about the rest? ¿Qué opina los demás? Yeah, it's easier when it has English subtitles, but this one don't have English subtitles. O sea, tienen, tienen subtítulos, pero son como autogenerados. Sí, así sí creo que se dice. O sea, se generan eh, por lo que va escuchando la, el YouTube y a veces no, no son 100% correctos. Um, no, but it takes me a while with the questions. Okay. Yeah, that happens too. Um, okay, well, we're gonna, por ejemplo, al compararlo con el otro video que nos mostró, creo que me costó menos. Okay, yeah, that one probably was easier because it had subtitles and but we're gonna well now we're gonna watch another video also no not now now but in a couple of minutes we're gonna watch another video uh, that one has subtitles so you guys can keep practicing uh, your listening skills okay so no questions about the present progressive or anything that we saw last class or are there some questions? Ninguna pregunta? Sobre esto o lo que vimos la clase pasada que es el presente continuo? No? Okay. Todo bien? Okay, okay, very good. Okay. So today. Uh, we are going to talk about the, um, we're going to talk about, so we already talked about the hospital team. We talked about the hospital team. Now we're going to talk about the hospital departments. So, uh, okay, so I need you to go to page six on the same book. Página seis en el mismo libro. Go to page six. And there's a... Uh, um, page six, there is, okay, there's this map right here. This is what you have to look at. This is where I want you to go on page six. Okay, so I look at the map and you have to tell me what type of text is the figure on page six. Is it uh, pers persuasive? 
uh, instructive, informative, or descriptive? Informative, okay, informative, very good, informative. And what is the purpose of this text? What is the purpose of the of this uh, map? Is it to persuade, inform, entertain, or express? Which one of those four purposes? ¿Cuál de esos cuatro propósitos es? Inform, okay. And what it, uh, what is it informing? What is it telling us? What is the map? telling us the purpose of the map is to inform hospital departments okay to inform what is on every floor of okay inform every floor inform about the uh, about the hospital departments um, what else? Inform what is on every floor in the hospital. In the hospital. Inform which area is. Inform which uh, each area is. Okay, very good. Yes, that's the purpose of this uh, map. Very good. So, voy a compartir el, um, el mapa. Okay, so yeah, we have the map. Uh, here we have the different floors, the amount of floors the building has. It tells us uh, what uh, department is in each floor. Very good. Here we have, I think it's the ground floor here. Tenemos el piso, el primer, o sea, el, los británicos le dicen ground floor al primer, al primer piso. Y el segundo piso recién viene a ser el primer piso. So you guys don't get confused. Ground floor es el, el primer piso. Y el segundo piso sería el first floor. And because this book is British, that's how it is. But if you were in, if it was an American book, this will be the first floor and this one will be the second floor. Uh, but here we have, I think, a picture of the first floor. Uh, and it tell, it's telling us what we can find here. We have the radiology, uh, surgery, endoscopy, and registration. We have a canteen. A canteen is the cafeteria, la cafeteria, a canteen. This is also a British word. We have x-rays, casualty, casualty is an emergency room. Uh, we have the MRI. Do you know what an MRI is? Do you know what an MR MRI is? No one? No lo saben? Okay. Yes, what can I say? A resonancia magnética. That's what MRI is. Very good. And then we have uh, we have here at the bottom we have the legend, and the legend tells us uh, the icons and what they mean. Esta parte de acá se llama... Yes, casualty is emergency room. 
casualty le dicen lo, lo frit, los británicos le dicen casualty. But American will be the emergency room. Uh, then we have the main entrance, we have the pharmacy. Uh, you're welcome. So yeah. And then we have a uh, detail of like every floor. So let's continue. Let's continue in uh, in the PowerPoint. No, este no es el PowerPoint. Okay, now. Okay, so here we have a question. In which hospital department would you like to work in and why? Or maybe this question is too soon. Quizá esta pregunta es muy, muy temprana, if you don't know. So which, uh, which hospital department would you like to work in? This is kind of related to the other question, like which area you want to specialize in? Anyone, any idea? Or maybe you're not sure yet, o todavía no están seguros where you want to work. Okay, no lo sé, yes. <clears throat> yeah, this question is, is related to the one we saw before. So I think some someone before said they wanted to work in pediatric, pediat, pediatrics or uh, uh, geriatrics, pediatrics or casualty. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kiera. Okay, Kiera says in this moment, I, I like to work in Geriatrics, pediatrics, and casualty or emergency room. Very good. Anyone else that wants to share? Or maybe you're still not sure yet, which is fine. No one? If there's no one, we're going to continue. Okay, let's go. So now we're going to play. Uh, a little game uh, to learn about the hospital departments. Okay, deme un segundo. Que no funciona. Algo pasó con el juego. Deme un minutito, un minutito, un minutito. Ok, creo que el juego no, es, no está, pero sí lo hice. Pero déme un, un minutito, so I can find the game. No me acuerdo con cuál cuenta hice el juego, pero voy a tratar de encontrarlo. Ok, aquí lo encontré. Okay, so this game is uh, about the hospital department. And what you have to do is match the pairs. So uh, there's gonna be a picture and the name of the department. And then another square is gonna have the description. En un cuadro va a estar la foto con, un, eh, con el nombre del department. Y en la otra va a estar eh, la descripción. And you have to match them. Uh, here, you're probably gonna have to use the microphone so you guys can tell me where to uh, uh, pick, uh, which uh, cards to pick. So let's begin.
Okay, so someone tell me, which one do I pick? A second. Okay, so we have casualty ER. Now we have to find uh, the definition. Which one do I pick? Esquina abajo. La última. Okay, let's see. No, we have surgery. That's not it. <laughs> Another one. But we know we're we know that ER is here and surgery is down here. So pick another one. La quinta. One, two, three, four. This one. Maternity unit. Now pick a second one. This one? Yes, okay, let's see. Nope, neurology. You still can't find a definition. Another one. La primera de la segunda fila. Okay, again, the ER. Oh, de la segunda fila, de la segunda fila, okay. La primera, sí, 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 okay. Specializes on elderly people. So here we have a definition. La cuarta de la tercera fila, okay, one, two, three, four. Where children are treated, treated. Okay, now we have to find pedi pediatrics. You haven't picked any around here. One from around here. Pueden usar el micrófono y hablar. So it's much easier. La última de la segunda fila. Let's see. No, orthopedics. It's not that one. Come on, guys. You can do it. One more. Profe, la antepenúltima de la última fila. La, and this one? No, otra más. This one. Sí. Okay, the place where patients are rushed in during emergencies. Where was that one? We know what that is, right? En la sala de emergencia era la, la this segunda, one? ¿no? I think it is. Creo. Yes, very good. <laughs> okay, you finally got one. Very good, guys. Okay, pick another one. <laughs> la última de la primera fila. Okay, left. Uh, place where you can get your x-rays. A place where you can get your x-rays. Pick another one. La última, this one? No, I think this was orthopedics. No, no, creo que es la penúltima. Creo que era la penúltima. This one? Ay, no me acuerdo. <laughs> pick one, pick one. Me parece que era la, la que está abajo de esa misma. No sé, no me acuerdo. Here? A here? No, la, la del medio. This one. No. <laughs> ya sí. ¿eh? No, no. Ahí no, salía no. Una, una espina dorsal. Sí, sí. Era or orthopedics. No era No, creo que ortoped ortopedia era la última, última. This one right here. Ahora al revés. No me acuerdo <laughs> cuál de las dos. Just 
pick one, pick one, so you so we can keep going. Profe, ponga la la penúltima de la segunda fila. La penúltima, this one right here. Let's see. No, the department where dermatologists work. Okay, pick another one. Come on, guys. La, la cuarta de la segunda la... fila, dice. Cuarta de la segunda. Okay, let's do that one. Cuarta de la segunda fila. Okay, radiology. Where was it? Where was the definition? Okay, la última, la primera. La última, la primera. Let's see. Very good. A place where you can get an x-ray with radiology. Very good, guys. Okay, pick another one. La primera de la segunda. Primera de la segunda. Okay, let's see. Specializes on elderly people. We need to find the department that specializes on elderly people. Cuarta de la tercera. Okay, the fourth. Let's see. Where children are treated. Nope. That's something else. You guys have... <clears throat> You have to pick another one. Esta de, de pediatría había salido, ¿no? I don't think so. Creo que no. O sea, sí, sí, sí había salido la definición, pero el departamento no. Ah, We yeah. still haven't seen the department. La quinta de la primera. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. This one? This one. Renal unit. We have to find the definition for this one. Maybe the definition is here, or here, or here. Maybe it's over here. Any guesses? Debajo de esa, okay. Below. The department where people are operated. Oh, but I think we saw surgery before, right? I think. Surgery came up before. Does anyone remember where surgery is? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna click on this one and you have to tell me where surgery was. La segunda. La segunda y la primera. No me acuerdo, no se acuerdan. Think guys, think about this. I think it was around this area right here. La tercera. This one? La última o la penúltima? Which one is it? Let's, la última, okay, let's see. Very good, yes. The department where people operated surgery. Very good, okay. We're still missing. Pick another one. ¿Cuál van a escoger ahora? La cuarta de la segunda. One, two, three, four. Neurology. We need to find the definition for neurology. This one? Let's see. No, where dialysis take place. Okay, so I think we saw renal unit, right? Which one was it? It was it was around here somewhere, I think. La primera de la fila. Okay, this one? And where was renal unit? This one? 
No? Esta. Yes, very good. Okay, where dialysis takes place. Very good, guys. Let's keep going. Take another one. La segunda de la segunda. Okay, let's see. Cardiology. We need to find the definition for cardiology. I think cardiology hasn't appeared yet. Creo que todavía no apareció la definición. So, uh, pick one, a random one. Maybe it's here. La quinta, la quinta. La tercera, la tercera. La quinta de la tercera. So, one, two, three. This one right here? Okay, let's see. No oh, pathology. <laughs> okay, let's go with cardiology again. La cuarta de la tercera. Okay, let's see. Where children are treated. Now we have seen that before. El <laughs> amofitos. What about this one or this one? La primera, la primera tercera. Okay. okay. The war where the heart diseases are treated. Is it this one? Arriba. This one right here. Like no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not that one. Okay, it's this one. Sí, esa. Okay, very good. <laughs> very good. Okay, here. Esto decía una que ya habíamos visto. O sea, decía la definición de una. That we have seen before. Which one, which one do you want me to click on? La primera, okay. Specializes on, ah, no, we haven't seen that. We still haven't found that one, Never mind. <laughs> Which one do you want to do? Eh, ancianos. Elderly es ancianos. This one right here or this one? Valentina. La segunda de la tercera. This one right here. Where illness and samples are analyzed. I think we've seen that before. Okay, so here we have where illness and samples are analyzed. Where was it? Esta ya la vimos ya la, la foto con, la, con el department. Where was this one? The pathology department. Where was it? La primera de arriba. La cuarta de la tercera. No, no. La cuarta. This one right here? O esta de acá? Esta? This one. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. Very good, Valentina. So we're uh, where they analyze samples and and do research. Okay. Another one. Pick another one, guys. La tercera de la tercera. La tercera. You mean this one or this this one right here? ¿Se refieren a esta o a esta? ¿Estamos yendo por el orden que quedan o por el orden que existía? La primera, this one right here. Okay. The war where the bones are treated. Where bones are treated. I think we saw this one. Which one was it? 
es el departamento donde, los, donde tratan eh, los huesos. Profe, esa es la, la penúltima de la segunda. This one right here? Sí, esa, esa. The orthopedics? No. That's not it. Entonces bueno. era la última. The last one? Sí. Okay, very good. The world where bones are treated. Orthopedics. Uh, pick another one. La primera de la uno. This one? Dermatology. I think we just saw which one was dermatology. Esa es la que acabamos de poner, ¿no? This one right here? Sí, sí, esa. Let's see. The department where dermatologists work. Very good. Uh, pick another one. Banqueando pocas. Pick another one. La tercera de la segunda. La segunda de la segunda. Okay, we're gonna... La tercera, imagine... I mean, do you mean this one or this one? La mm, medio. This one, okay. Geriatrics. Which one was the one that treated elderly people? La de al lado. Right or left? Al lado, right or left? Izquierda. Okay, let's see. It specializes on elderly people. Very good. We're missing, okay, two, four, okay, there's six left. There are three left. Which one do I click on? La primera de la primera. Let's see. Where disorders of the nervous systems are treated. We have seen this. Which one was it? La segunda. This one right here? Very good, yes. Neurology. Okay, there's two and two. <laughs> la última, okay, la última. Last one, pediatrics. Where was pediatrics? Right here. Where children are treated, very good. And then we have maternity unit and the ward that takes care of pregnant women. Very good, guys. Was it hard? It took us 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it it took us a long time to finish, but we did it. I don't know if we're a decima, but we did it. Okay, let's go back to the let's go back to the the PowerPoint. Después yo lo las los departments. Al final de la clase vamos a hablar de eso. Al final de la clase vamos a hablar de muchas cosas, o sea, de dos cosas. Y ahí les voy a explicar. Um, we're going to go back to the PowerPoint and we, I think we're going to watch a video now. Ah, lo que les decía después yo en un documento separado les voy a subir a Edmodo, los departments y con una pequeña descripción para que lo tengan igual. Ya que no está en el, en el PPT. Okay, so... Uh, we finished playing. Now we're going to watch a video. This video, it's uh, it's kind of a tour of a children's hospital. It's, an hosp it's a hospital tour of a children's hospital, of the UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital. Uh, there are some questions we're going to look at. Pero todavía no. Um, there's some questions. The first one says, would you like to work in a children's hospital? Why or why not? Las preguntas después del video. 
Uh, what places do you see in the video? What places do you see in the video? Uh, what do you think about the UCLA Mattel's Children's Hospital? A lot of the questions, most of the questions are personal opinions. La mayoría son preguntas de opinión. So you don't have to like respond related to the video, except this one. This one is the only one that's related to the video. And is that it? No. Oh, are there any children's hospitals in Chile? That's another question. So we have four questions. Uh, let's begin. Oops. You can hear the video, right? Hi, I'm Hudson. I'm here at UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital. Okay. It's right there. I know that hospitals can be scary places, so I'm here to show you around so you know exactly what to expect when you come here. It's a pretty cool place. I should know. I practically grew up here. When you pull into the hospital, there's a valet right at the front. They give you a ticket and park your car for you. If you like parking, you can self-park in the garage too. Entrances to the garage are off Gailey Avenue and Westwood Boulevard. One of the first things you'll see is the welcome wall. It shares the stories of the people that work here and stayed here. If you're coming to the hospital for an overnight stay, you'll go straight to the admissions office on the first floor next to Maddie's room. At the admissions office, your parents will do a lot of the talking. This is where you will get checked in for the night and get a room. If you're really injured or very sick, you may have to come to the emergency department. There's a waiting area in the corner just for kids. You can watch a video, play a game, or do some arts and crafts while you're waiting. There are special doctors that just treat kids. They're called pediatric hospitalists. They may visit you so you get the best care. The emergency department also has child life specialists. They're like your best friend the whole time you're here. At an information desk, you can ask these people anything. I mean anything. Hi Hudson. What's your favorite color? Blue. Do you like cake? I love cake. Do you like fish? I do like fish. If you had a spirit animal, what would it be? I believe it would be a penguin. Do you have any ice cream? I do not, I wish I did, but I do believe our cafeteria has some. I know the way. My favorite place here is the cafeteria because they have all different kinds of food. It's kind of like having your own personal chef. Thank you. I like the sushi the best, but everything else is great too. Oh yeah, I forgot, ice cream. After your parents pay at the register, you can come sit down at the dining area or have a picnic outside. There is an ATM and a cashier next to the gift shop on the first floor. If you want to buy something from the gift shop, you could buy something to say thanks or, I don't know, a snack maybe? If you or your parents need to take a break outside, we even have the place for that. The garden is right outside the dining commons and it is so peaceful. You'll be spending a lot of time in elevators. Because this is such a big place, there are east and west elevators. Let's go to the pediatric units on the fifth floor. If you come in for care overnight, it's kind of like having a home away from home with a TV, free Wi-Fi, a bathroom, room service, and places to put your stuff. The doctors and nurses here are super smart and friendly. And we're here to make sure you feel better as soon as possible. If you need us, just hit a button and we'll be right there. If you have any questions about your room or the hospital, you can ask your nurse about it. There's a nurse's station right nearby, and if you want to know who's taking care of you today, take a look on the whiteboard. Friends and family can even come visit you while you're here. They'll need to check in at the information desk. When they get here, they'll need to press a buzzer so someone can let them in. They'll go to the front desk and ask to see you. 
If you aren't ready for them to visit, there are waiting rooms right outside the entrance. Also on the fifth floor, there is the Chase Chad Life Center. There are specialists that can help you whenever you need. They are here just for you. This is the playroom. The playroom is full of toys and games. While you're here, you might even meet some new friends. They also might be staying here. There's a teen lounge for older kids with video games and a pool table. There's a family resource room for your parents to get things done or take a load off. This is the outside play area. It is the best because you can shoot hoops, race cars, or even just play outside. When you're ready to leave, there's a place for you to hang out while you're being discharged. Sometimes you may come to the hospital just for the day to see a doctor for a checkup or something. You'll go to the UCLA Medical Plaza. The 200 building is where most of this happens. Most of the time, you'll come to the Children's Health Center. It's on the second floor. Your parents can check in at the front desk and you can go play in the waiting area. Once your name is called, you'll go to the exam room to see your doctor. Sometimes kids might come to the Pediatric Infusion Center for treatments. It's right through the hall in the Children's Health Center. The nurses and child life specialists are really nice. And they'll give you lots of things to do while you get your medicine. It's okay if you miss your doctors and friends here. They will be taking care of other kids because that's what they do best. I wonder, what will your favorite part be when you come here? Goodbye. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, Sandra says, me dieron ganas de ir a pasear a su hospital. And Denise says, wow, igualito el hospital de Chile. Okay, so we're gonna, it's, it's different, right? Es diferente, no? It's really different. It's a different world over there. So the first question, would you like to work in a children's hospital? Why or why not? This is a personal opinion. Anyone? Anyone who wants to share their opinion? Okay, Sandra says that she would like to work in one, but she thinks it will be uh, sad. And that's, okay, that's, yeah, it, it could be sad. I mean, some, some kids get better, some don't. But yes, it's, it, it can be a difficult job maybe working in a children's hospital, knowing what could happen. Thank you, Sandra. Anyone else? Another opinion? Alguna otra opinión? I think not only because I feel like I don't get along. Okay, I think not because I don't feel, okay, you don't get along with children, so you wouldn't like to work in a children's hospital. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Denise. <clears throat> Anyone else? Alguien más? Another opinion. Come on, guys, one more. 
Alguien, una persona más. That wants to share. Okay. Carla says, no, because I feel like I wouldn't be good in that area. And Kira says, I would like it. The, the kids need a pleasant company at such difficult times, more so for their age. Okay, so Carla says no, and Kiara says yes, she would like to. Okay, very good. Those are good um, uh, reasons. Uh, thank you. Okay, Ivania says I wouldn't, I would, but I know it would be more stressful. Yes, it could be more stressful because you're dealing with kids and it's more difficult than dealing with adults. Very good, guys. Uh, Okay, this one. This one's related to uh, the video. What places uh, do you see in the video? What places does the kid name? Okay, the ER. Very good. The, the ER, this, uh, this hospital has a garden. What else does they have? It has a playroom, oops. Playroom. Playroom, yes, very good. What else? There was a dining or cafeteria. Okay, reception, reception. A cafeteria, cafeteria. We had elevators, yes. Cafe, cafe. Oh, cafeteria. Elevate elevators. There was an admission office. Yeah, there was a lot of of places to play. Y había muchos lugares. O sea, yo me imagino. No sé cómo serán otros. Eh, o, hospitales de niños en, en Estados Unidos pero hay muchos lugares de jugar porque a pesar esto este hospital que se llama US, USLA uh, uh, Mattel Children's Hospital parte del o sea del de cuando se construyó Mattel puso su puso dinero para construirlo entonces por eso igual hay hartos lugares de juego Okay, a waiting area for parents. Okay, very good, yeah. Those are some of the places uh, he mentions. Let's continue. Are there any children's hospitals in Chile? You guys don't know? Okay, Sanders is in Santiago. Does anyone know? Kitsania, that's a hospital? En Viña, okay. Okay, no, it's not gonna be like that one, but. Okay, so Kitsania is one. Um, here it says there's Hospital del Ni Hospital de Niños Roberto del Rio in Santiago, in Independencia. There's one in Santiago. No, Kitsania. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so. So that one, no. Pero lo, como le estoy diciendo, el Hospital de Niños Roberto del Río en Independencia en Santiago, that one is a children's hospital. That's one of them. <coughs> Then there's... <laughs> yeah. El Hospital Luis Calvo Maquena, el Hospital de Niños y Cunas, Instituto Nacional de, Re de Rehabilitación Pedro Aguirre Cerda, and Hospital Doctor Enrique 
no, Dr. Ezequiel González Cortés. Those are one, two, three, five children's hospitals that exist. And La Teletón. Yeah, Teletón, it's a children's hospital, yes. But it, it, it specializes in like in one area. Okay, and lastly, what do you think about the UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital? Your opinions about the hospital. Okay, Sandra says, me encanta, she likes it. What about the rest? It's a great place, yes. Yeah, yeah, it most likely is. It must be really expensive. La salud en Estados Unidos es cara. So it's 11 hours. It must be really expensive. You couldn't know that a hospital could be so beautiful. Yeah. There are places like that. What about the rest? Love Mask, what is your opinion? Anyone else has an opinion about the hospital? Yeah, yeah, maybe they feel less scared of being there because they have games, they have toys, they have gardens. And it's a really nice place, so it can help them uh, feel less scared while they stay there, especially if they're kids. Uh, very good, Carla. One last opinion. Una opinión más. I think it's a great hospital. It has different places for children so they can be entertained despite their disease or pathologies. Very good, Kiara. Yes. It's like, I guess it's like a park more than a hospital. Okay, very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Yeah, vamos. We're going to stop here. Nos faltó ver una cosa más. Pero vamos a hablar sobre la tarea y sobre la prueba. Okay, so it looks like a good hospital where children play part play apart from being treated. Yes, very good, Carla. Okay, esta parte la voy a decir en español para que todo quede bien claro. La tarea que ustedes van a tener que hacer y va a ser para el 18 de mayo. Ese día no tenemos clase, pero ese día es el día de entrega. La tarea es un hospital mind map. Do you know what a mind map is? ¿Sabes lo que es un mind map? Mapa mental, yes. That's what it is. Sí, eso es lo que es. Entonces lo que van a hacer es un, un mapa mental, un mind map, en pares o en tríos. Ustedes decían con cuántos trabajan, pero en pares o en tríos, no más. Ok, so what you have to do first, lo que primero que tienen que hacer es coger una palabra que, eh, que sea summarize, no sé cómo dice summarize en español, summarize everything you have to see in this unit. Eh, una palabra, una, así como una palabra principal que, que traiga todo junto lo que hemos visto este semestre que en esta ocasión, aquí se la estoy dando, the hospital, because we, porque hemos hablado del hospital team y del hospital department. Entonces, aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Y aquí están hablando de transport, pero aquí esta es la palabra central. Ustedes van a tener the hospital. Y después de eso van a tener que crear grupos. Pueden ser los hospital departments, que van a ser... Eh, que, o sea, ¿qué, ¿qué son parte de un hospital? Los hospital departments. Entonces ponen hospital departments acá. Y después tienen que hacer otros grupos más diciendo como qué cosas son parte de cada hospital department. Doctors or 
uh, uh, maybe equipment that they use, el, el equipo que usan, eh, las personas que trabajan, eh, los, con los pacientes que tienen que ver. En, en después tienen que unirlo con líneas y que cada, cada grupo tenga un color específico. Entonces, si vas a hablar de cardiology, you give cardiology a color y después le dan un color y después todo lo que viene, lo que sale de cardiology también tenga el mismo color. ¿Se entiende? ¿Sí? Sí, es como un, ma sí, un mapa conceptual. Sí, sí. Les voy a subir una rúbrica también para que la vean. Y eso es para que se guíen de, de cómo voy a evaluar. Entonces, lo que tiene que estar en la palabra central es de hospital. Y de ahí ustedes tienen que ir dividiendo en grupos y después en grupos más pequeños. El grupo que es un grupo es eh, seguir haciéndolo más eh, pequeño y, y tener palabras que estén relacionadas a eso. Entonces, se en relaciona al vocabulario que hemos visto, a los verbos. Eh, quizá alguna, eh, o sea, vocabulario específico que se puede haber visto en, el, en algún momento sobre eh, relacionado a cada department o a, a, a cada especialidad, a cada profesión. Pero no tienen que hacer todos los departments. No van a hacer todo, porque si no sería mucho. Porque hoy día vimos, no sé cuántos, pero creo que tienen sido como 12. Eh, vamos a hacer cuatro, cuatro departments. Ustedes cogen cuáles. But we're going to do four departments. Oops, no, eso todavía no. Cuatro departments y después tienen que ir dividiendo ahí para abajo cuántas, eh, o sea, digamos, ponen cardiology, hacen otra línea, ponen cardiologist y el cardiologist. Ahí tienen que agregarle unas cosas más. Igual después les voy a subir un ejemplo en, en el modo. Para que lo tengan a mano. Sí, four departments. Dígame. ¿Esta tarea se, se la enviamos por dónde? Eh, a mi correo. Aquí se los voy a poner. No, no, sí, si lo tengo era para saber por dónde. Ah, ya, ya. Ya, mi correo. ¿Se puede hacer solo? Se entrega el 18 de mayo, como dice acá. 18 of May. El 18 de mayo cae martes, pero nosotros no tenemos, pero no tenemos clase los martes nosotros, pero igual me lo envían por correo. Eh, ¿Se puede hacer solo? Eh... O sea, lo preferible es que lo hagan con alguien más. Pero si no llegase a tener a alguien más, sí lo puede hacer solo, pero que no sean muchos que sean solos. Quiero que la mayoría trabaje en pares o en tríos. Eh... Entonces sí, entonces el hospital, después lo, de, lo divide en departamentos y ahí lo siguen dividiendo en que cada qué cosa va en cada departamento. Igual, como les dije, le voy a subir un ejemplo. Le voy a subir esta imagen también y las instrucciones de acá al costado. Y la, la fecha y, y eso. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre eso? No, okay. <coughs> okay, so la prueba. Ahora toca hablar de la prueba. La prueba va a ser mayo 17, que es el lunes. Entonces el mind map los va a ayudar para que igual hagan un repaso de todo lo que hemos visto y para que estudien. La prueba va a ser en mayo 17, que sería eh, nosotros la próxima semana es la pausa docente, así que la próxima semana no hay clases. Volveríamos la semana del 10 de mayo, 
del 10 al, al sí, del 10 de mayo, esa semana vamos a hacer un review, vamos a hacer un repaso en una clase y en la segunda yo creo que igual vamos a repasar y vamos a hacer un quiz, una, un, una prueba formativa para, para mostrarle un poco cómo va a ser la otra. Después, el 17 de mayo. La prueba formativa es sin nota, es solamente para repasar. Y el 17 de mayo tendríamos la prueba, que es un día lunes. Toda esa información igual se la voy a subir a, a Hermodo. Y si es que alguien llegase a tener un problema ese día y no puede dar la prueba, avíseme con anticipación. Eso es algo que, que es importante, que me avise con anticipación que no vaya a poder, si no puede dar la prueba ese día. Para yo saber. Eh, y al final va a ser un Google Form nomás. En Google Form, en un formulario de Google, ahí va a ser la prueba. Preguntas, dudas. Ok. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna pregunta, duda? Eh, no, 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 no. No va a haber escribir. No, todavía, todavía no. <ríe> Así que, eh, no sé, si un formulario de Google y ahí van a haber preguntas. Lo que sí puede haber un listening. Eso es lo más probable que sí haya. So there might be a listening section. Bueno, y if there are no more questions, si no hay preguntas sobre la prueba o la tarea, y bueno, me pueden hacer la pregunta el miércoles también si es que tienen duda. Si es que algo, si después se le ocurre algo. No, no puedo decir mucho, de ahí, de ahí lo van a ver. Cuando vean el, el, el quiz, la prueba formativa, ahí van a saber cómo va a ser. Eh, profe, la tarea en PPT. O sea, lo, lo ideal es que quepa en una página todo. Ahí ustedes deciden si lo hacen en PPT o en, en, en Word. Pero lo, lo ideal es que el, el mind map, el mapa mental o el mapa conceptual esté en una página. Sí, puede ser en PDF. O sea, si es que lo... O sea, al principio lo tienen que hacer en Word o en PPT, pero después cuando me lo manden, eh, sería bueno que fuera en PDF, así no se desconfigura. Any more questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? Igual todo esto después se lo voy a escribir ahí en, en el modo para que lo tengan eh, para verlo. Igual voy a... Sí, en internet también. Quizás lo, lo, lo voy a subir a internet también. Ok. Entonces, eh, espérense, déjenme mostrarle algo. Ya, entonces estamos en la clase de acá. Están viendo el calendario, estamos en la clase de acá. Nos queda la clase del miércoles para terminar de ver lo que queda en este PowerPoint y unas cositas más. Y después... ¿Dónde estoy? No, no estoy, no estoy en el mes correcto. Ok, aquí sí. Eh, después viene la pausa docente que tenemos acá del 3 al 7. Esta semana es para repasar y haremos la prueba formativa, y después el 17 aquí, tendríamos la prueba. Y después de eso empezamos con la segunda unidad. So, si no hay más preguntas, if there are no more questions, uh, you guys are free to go. And I will see you on Wednesday. Igual cualquier pregunta o algo, me pueden enviar un correo o me escriben por internet. Bye, bye. 
See you on Wednesday, guys. Ciao, bye. Ciao. Nos vemos. Bye bye. Bye, guys.